In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to execute a external JavaScript function from the React component. So for example, you can see we have the alert hello. However, this is inside the index.html. And we are going to execute these functions inside our input components or the app.js component. So if you look at the website, you can see when you click alert, you can see the hello and which is the JavaScript functions at the end of this HTML. But you may ask why we need to call a external JavaScript functions from React and why don't we just put the function inside the app.js. And sometimes we have the condition that we use some framework like Bootstrap or I mean LTE and there is some jQuery functions such as the autocomplete and we need to execute these jQuery functions that in the index.html so later we will demonstrate how to use the autocomplete that put in the index.html so now for example in this case you can see when we type m it will display the michael.lawson <coughs> so first we are going to create a simple example now we are going to create a new project by npx create we add app and then we type call external javascript now after we already create the project, we can go inside the project by typing cd call external javascript and then we type code dot to open the vs code and now in the public and we have the index.html and at the end of the index we can type the script and inside the script we have functions alert hello and then we type alert hello and then if we want to execute this function inside the app.js we can delete this first and then we create a button and we type alert here we put the on click and instead of just typing alert hello we need to type window and then square bracket and since the file name or the function name is alert hello so we put the text is alert hello and then close the square bracket so now if we go to the terminal and type npm start now you can see this alert button and now if we click on the button, you can see the alert hello already appeared. Now this time we want to execute the autocomplete which is from jQuery. So now from the source code, you can see there are some link of CSS and also JavaScript. So we need to copy this and paste to the top of our index.html. So we paste here and then at the end, we can see there are a div, so we also copy this and put inside our app. So we go to app.js and paste here, and then we have to correct this to JSX. So now you can see the input field now already exists, and then we want to get some data from the remote API, so we go to the request response.in and then we go to some API and then we copy this link and then we back to our project and then on top of this we are going to add the state and then we type use state type this as emails and then we name this empty array as the initial state and since we haven't import the use state so we now have to import the use state and we are going to use the use effect to load the data before the render of the component. So we have to type use effect and then we do this querying. And then we also need to import the use effect. And now we are going to fetch the data. So we have to create a fetch data functions. And since we use await, so we have to use async and then fetch. And then we can console.load the fetch the response dot data should be dot json and then we have to execute this function by typing fetch data so now if we back to our website and refresh the page and you can see a promise because we forgot to use await so we should better type constant data is equal to await response dot json and then we type the data now you can see the data already exists but actually we just want the data inside this JSON object so we have to put the dot data again so we name this array is equal to data dot data and now we just want to look at the array 
so we console.log the array and now if you refresh you can see at here there's an array of users but actually we don't want to use the array of user we just want to use the array of email because if you look at the autocomplete it just need an array of tests rather than an array of object so to convert this to an array of text you can find in the stack overflow there is a way to create a function that just return the item that with the properties of the key so now we can paste these functions and then we can set the emails is equal to the plug and then we pass the array and we just want to get those with properties those emails so we pass the properties at here and then at last we set the emails now we already have a list of emails so now we are going to execute the autocomplete and now we go to the autocomplete documentations and then we copy these functions and then we back to the index.html and we create a function autocomplete and then we can delete this because we will provide our array by use effect and the fetch functions so now we are going to pass the text by using this text so we want to execute this function when on change so we back to here and type on change and then we execute by using window and then pass the function name autocomplete and then we also pass the email list as the text so now if you back to the website and type Michael, you can see it already pop up the suggestions. And so this is how to execute the external JavaScript functions from the React component.